Hello, all you beautiful people out there. My name is Manuel, and welcome back to Retail Tycoon 2 Gameplay. In the last episode, we built a lot more parking lots. We also made this store completely automatic by, among other... No, actually, <laughs> in the last episode, we expanded a little bit, and we talked about vehicles and the Christmas decorations. The Christmas decorations are still out. The Christmas trees are still out. Um, I don't think we need to actually look at the Christmas tree, it's kind of basic, you just buy this large uh, plot slide right in here, and you can put Christmas trees on them. But by the time this video is out, it's already out of date, so it doesn't matter anymore. And we can check the stats on the store. It looks like the camera and the one guard does the work for me. Item stolen is still two, and if you don't uh, remember, in, in, at the start of the last episode, I forgot to check whether my customers were robbers or not. I've been too used to having automatic stores, so I just decided, you know what, let's just make these stores automatic as well. I'm too lazy to do this. So, I also said that we might need to expand a little bit in this video, and it looks like I'm earning a whole lot of money. Is even the manager on, or it doesn't buy, seem to buy stuff? Okay, still does. But we have a lot of customers who enter the store and buy stuff all the time. Uh, it looks like rating is struggling, crowdness as I would guess. Shelter, however, I wonder why shelter is a problem. Most likely because these people are like walking for a really long distance. So in order to fix shelter, we can simply just... Uh... Oh, I found them. The awnings. I'll... Talking about the awnings, uh, let's get a awning to like put on right here. I don't know what looks the best. Let's just use the uh, red ones because they look cool. Let's just use the basic red one. We'll slice it over like this. I didn't realize what the customer was uh, complaining about. He might not have had enough money for the store. I don't think... Oh, well, shelter still is a problem. In that case, you know what? Let's do it the easy way. We throw in a bunch of... Um, yeah, edge pieces. The reason for that is, like I've explained in numerous guides and etc. Edge pieces do count as walls, so the customers think they are walking inside a store with walls around everywhere. So, shelter. Hmm? It almost always depends on like where the customers are walking. And at this point, the store is so small, and the vehicles are positioned so far away from the store, they have to walk all this way in order to go inside, get a phone, and then walk out. So, like, half the walking process, at least, is just, or half of the time they're actually spending at the store is basically just walking. So, uh, I need to do something here. Uh, it's earning like crazy at the moment. Uh, and I also got an idea, because, uh, you know, the, uh, that stick, uh, I don't know what it was, yeah, there we go, the Christmas tree, ah, well, the Festivus pole, here your grievances around this festival pole, now I don't know what grievances are, but I have an idea. Or, not an idea, but I do maybe think that people like put like posters on there or something. I don't know. So like when they're uh, complaining, they throw, uh, you will get like uh, complaints on the stick. No, actually I have no idea. I don't know what even know what it is. Yeah. But it seems like we already have 10 grand. So we have a lot of money. So uh, since we have a lot of money to spend, I thought actually let's get rid of that one. Come on. There we go. We want uh, the parking lots on like this side, so that's what I what I thought at least. That the parking lots could like be positioned like this direction, so, like people won't be won't have to walk all this way. Uh, and yes, so that's about it. In that case, we'll have either have to wait. Uh, is it a uh, shelter again? No, it's not. I don't even know if that one helped, it just looks cool, so... That's an electric parking lot. Yeah. 
Nein, but uh, I don't know. Decoration. Wait, 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 wait. So people aren't happy with the light, I guess. I guess I'll just put a. Yeah. You know what? Let's expand. Nah, we can expand another video. Yeah, we can expand now as well. We're earning like crazy. Why not just give it some expansion? We have a lot of money and space to spend here. What, space to spend? That makes sense. Um, so let's actually... Let's get space for another finance rep. And let's throw in some... There we go. And since we already, since we have so many customers, we might put in more, more things into our store now. I, mean, I thought maybe we could start selling furniture, for example. Just throw in the all of the furniture category. Wait a second, uh, that's actually not <laughs> too too wise because if I'm throwing in furniture, they will go around and expect me to have like all of these uh, tanky items. <laughs> I mean, like 200, 200, 150, and like the electronics is only like four. So in that case, maybe throw in a couple of video games. No, they might be selling too fast. I would need another vehicle in that case. Honestly, I could just throw in a few more of these um, small electronics, or I can start selling PC electronics as well. A little bit more expensive. Seems to be like the same value about, so... Uh, but the manager, no, I mean the delivery driver is still struggling, so... Kinda need something to keep up with, so I don't know, but um... Let's uh, fix a little bit of decoration here, make it look a little bit better. You know, throw in windows like this. And we'll throw in a window right uh, here. Instead of having the window there, let's throw it like that. The idea was to then do like this. So we're now having a lot of space. The store is a lot larger. Like, a lot. <laughs> I thought it would be fun to actually just add another like floor so like everything but it would cost like crazy so I think I'm gonna stay away from that for a while. Let's give it an opportunity to have more sellables. We do like that for example and we put uh, one desk like that, one desk that and one desk like that, for example. Honestly, we're gonna get uh, another pair of these discs, to be honest. Like, there, there are too many customers here. And instead of doing it like this, I think we're gonna do like uh, three in a row, or we can do, could rather do it like this, perhaps. So, like, uh, no, not like this, but like this. Throw in it like that, and boom, there you go, you got space in the store. Might be a little bit weird doing it like that, I don't know. Throw in a little bit of a cozy, um, cozy section here, just for fun. Should have been couches in this game, to be honest. Okay, where do you find... Uh, Oh my goodness, where do you find benches? There you go. Can I customize the bench to be like a little bit more cozy? Little bench. Boom. This is the worst cozy section I've ever seen. Let's throw in another final shot. Actually, when I think about it, we can put the manager here. Let's delete the desk. And the fun thing about, uh, the cool thing about like the manager area is I thought 
maybe the manager can like live in this kind of glossy area so he kind of has this open space he can do whatever maybe it doesn't need to be like this large maybe just two so two two and one not much space though uh okay i regret three two okay that a bit of space for the manager wait a second wait a second Customers might be able to steal now, now that I don't have any security. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, 180. So, this one. Let's just get a dome. Uh, 750. So, it should in theory cover the entire area. I don't know how, like, this works. If it's, like, kind of covers where the customers are standing. Or if it... Oh, wait. You can see, like, tiles here. So, if they're stealing from this tile... It won't cover, I guess. So, it's better off just putting a camera like like this, and like a camera like this. In that case, it covers like the area that's needed. I didn't know there actually were like blue uh, pieces behind here. You can put some kind of decoration. Uh, trash cans. Yeah, that's right. We need trash cans. Trash can. What kind of trash can do we want? I think just sticking to the normal mailbox trash can is fine enough. Let's throw a mailbox trash can. Just throw one right here. And let's throw one right here. Let's throw the last one right there. Now the finance rep area is covered, so we'll see like that. And I also thought uh, we could add a self-checkout now that we have... Uh, more customers, we can add a self-checkout as well. So they can now decide between normal checkout and self-checkout. I don't know about the snack machines, I need to test it out. I also thought uh, that the worker might want a normal checkout, or like people might uh, think that a normal checkout would be cool. So I thought also doing like that, uh, that was not intentional. Now we at least have a normal checkout as well. Throwing garbage there, I don't think people will, so I don't think that's any problem. It's like two slots and two spaces, like what are the odds? I don't even know if people will throw there because other people are kind of walking there, that makes sense. In that case, we can technically just move the other trash can one step down and it covers it. And the outdoor area, now that the store is so much larger, we can start bleeding more parking lots. I want like the parking lots to go like out here. Decoration is also starting to become a problem in that case. Leave that one as well. I think we can start by stocking the shelves. So I want to just uh, empty the store here. We can get another finance rep. I think that might uh, work. One guard is enough, I think. And we need some lights. So we get some lights here. Does they count as light, or if I do like that, does it delete the camera as well? Okay, that's actually kind of stupid, but uh, yeah, fair enough. So we now have the manager cozy over there. I know, I think we can use the wood tiles. I think it looks better. I I really do like these uh, fancy wooden tiles. No, oh, oh. like these, like here. I can't rotate them, or. Oh, that's annoying, but uh, that's, that's fine. I think that looks better to like have this wood area over here. Although I should change the color of the carpet. I have an idea. So let's pick the carpet. Uh, not to use store color, but rather use a darkish red kind of carpet color. I think that's pretty cool. Looks more fancy than the other ones. And that's also when it comes to like the desks. I think you can also change the color of those, right? Yeah, that's right. Let's make it even uh, brighter. And more like... Like this. I think that looks more like appealing. 
that because it's more bright. It might be a little bit too bright to be honest. Like 160 instead. And the same as we here. Like that. Two, three. One, two, three. Stock shelves. We just throw in phones, iPads, and laptops. Now the manager will start to spend a lot of money now because he wants to keep the items in as backup. So it will start to throw a bunch of uh, to buy a lot of things now. But that's not a problem. We we're good. We have a lot of money to spend. Thought it could be cool to throw in like a bench here somewhere. Maybe throw in a normal bench. No, I think this bench is better. I would want a couch, but there is no couch. Ah, no. Let's ignore that. I just don't like the fact that this one is like off position, but put it like that. Okay. So now the manager is having a great time in the corner here. We got the store area. We don't have any ceiling lights. That's right. The general are just throwing a bunch of um, ceiling lights. Then when it comes to the manager is buying too much, but uh, that's fine. All right, we got the EV parking lots and a normal parking lot here. I thought that, for example, we can have the EV parking lots on like the side here. Like four of them. Well, that's, and then we put normal parking lots. No, because it's too close. It's too close to the store. In that case, we kind of need to do it like that. Um, so if we, for example, do like this, and we throw in this. Uh, Tiled area. Let me find it over here, like out here, so it looks so we can kind of can see that like this is the uh, area for like the delivery vehicle. You can then put parking lots or EV parking lots. Two of them. You put like two parking lots like this, for example, and then put some uh, EV parking lots. Uh, so if you want EV. Boom. Uh, oh. uh, I don't like it, to be honest. I don't really like it. Let's uh, just buy this expansion plot. That's the easiest way of doing it. We could technically also generally just move the entire entrance. That's also a possibility. So instead of making it like awkward over here, uh, instead of doing it like this, we can, for example, put the entrance right here. So what we are doing, for example, is we do like that. We don't even need, it's like, it's a statue over there, we don't need anything there. So now it's more like, it makes more sense. So for example, because EV parking lots are like luxurious, you can have the EV parking lots facing like this direction. One, two, three, four. And we can also have normal parking lots facing like this. 2,900. Let's ignore the EV parking lots for now, all right? <laughs> no, we can't. We, can't. we need normal parking lots here. And unless, if, if we don't, it's gonna be like really awkward. And then EV parking lots. Yeah, we're, we're gonna figure it out another day. But as of right now, I think we're just gonna do like this because it's the easiest way of doing it. And we also put two parking lots like this could technically do like this and then say that this is like the luxurious area so we have EV parking lots 
teşekkürler. Okay, I think I have an idea now. EV parking lot. Boom. Boom. And then we throw in like this little... Out like this. Those are two EV parking lots. Since they're like luxurious. Right? And then over here, you like kind of drive in. So you have like four slots like that. And over here, I'm gonna have another parking lot. Or like no more normal parking lot. So let's say you for example say like boom boom. And then boom boom. Out of bounds. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, so um in that case. Like that, for example. That's the best I can do, I think. So we're just gonna say that vehicles are driving at like a three spot area. And you can't build it here. Oh. Uh. Oh, I uh, uh. Struggling to place parking lots. All right. This is the best I can do. As of right now. And we're just gonna delete this thing. Going over here. Now we have a um, somewhat nice looking parking lot. It looks fine. De decoration wise, doesn't matter. But we can put a trash can up here. So we can put one trash can like. Um, we can put one outside. And that will also cover the inside. So it's like a brand. Put one right here. Actually, over here is. Um, the same thing. We go back to the uh, warnings. Throw up a couple of warnings. The inside of the store is looking good. We have decoration. That's terrible. So, I thought an idea would be to just literally just put a fountain on the outside. Ta da! And over here, I don't know. We could put a couple of plants in the middle like this. For example. And put a fat plant in the middle right here. That gives a little bit of decoration. And inside the manager's office we can also have a like a plant like this, I don't know. I don't think people will complain about decoration now. I don't, don't I'm not sure though. I think they, they might, but uh, so if you put a fountain right here at least they won't complain at all. I don't think they will complain now. Decoration should should not be any problem, but I'm not hundred percent sure. Uh, this store looks a lot better now at least. I think uh, if we fix the uh, like that. So in the next video, we will open up this new, beautiful looking, expanded store. I think this looks really good. It will be interesting to see how it works out. Uh, a tip, by the way, just, because, uh, just before the video ends. When it comes to workers, they tend to, uh, or when you pause or like close the store, that they don't cost you any money, so they don't charge you any money when the store is closed. So you can keep your workers uh, on as much as you want, as long as you just close the store. But yeah, I'm really uh, hyped to see how this store is going to run in the next video. I almost have to make a new video immediately, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, but yeah, so this is a cozy store, a nice little parking lot outside. So yeah, um, I would say then thank you guys so much for watching this video. It was a little bit of a different video, a build build video, but uh, sometimes they're going to have builds, sometimes there will be gameplay. But I think you will enjoy everything, I hope. Uh, you can comment down below if like, ideas you have, to, like what I can do and stuff uh, in this gameplay video. T items I can sell, for example, and stuff like that, eventually. So, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.